It's a boy OZ. We're right at Lagos Calabar Coastal Road. We have to see emerging infrastructures which are being affected and the current progress achieved so far on the project. Alright? So stay true. <laughs> I don't understand. You can see uh, I'm at landmark. This is one of the major beachfronts or beach house that has been on the internet. Lauren Jean has cried so has cried concerning this project and as you can see this is what is left on the beach. There has been a lot of demolition, some filling on the beach so far, right? But sincerely, I will give my honest opinion regarding this project. What's currently going on at the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway? In this video, I will answer some of the questions you guys have asked me on the previous video while showing you what is currently happening, both on Landmark and other properties, even on the project himself here. So right now, if you ask me, OZ, what's currently going on at the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway? I will tell you that there is work going on there. In fact, I have to stay back late till 7 o'clock to see how long or when they close. Till 7 that I left this particular site, they were currently working. You may be wondering, what is this road with this street light? Is this part of the project? Yes, this is the first kilometer of the project that has been partially completed. And this is what it's looking like. OZ, I thought they said this would be a 10 lane expressway with a rail track in the middle. Where is the rail track and where are other lanes? Relax. The road will be expanded at the Jaconde area of Lagos where it will accommodate the rail track in the middle. In the future updates, I will go there to show you what is currently going on there. There are currently some filling and doing other work there, but wait till I visit. Guys, I want to give my opinion on this project. As you can see, there are, there are a lot of businesses that have been affected one way or the other. Right here, uh, this is landmark and other businesses on, on this route which has been negatively have been affected. Alright. This is landmark beach front area. This is what is going on there. You may be wondering, what is going on here? This is where the road will go through. Unfortunately, this happens to be the beachfront to landmark and other beach on this particular area. And right now, they are currently trying to break down the structures within the beachfront and some field the place. Why construction will continue from this particular place? Let's go around and see what's going on there. I'll give you more details as we continue.
It's important that you know that Landmark is not just the only property that has been affected so far on this particular project. As you can see, we have uh, Oniru and other beaches. Sorry if I am focusing too much on Landmark. This is where media attention is currently now. I want to um, make my own contribution to the conversation going on on the internet. So please permit me to just show you around this particular premises, what's going on at the landmark and other uh, premises I've shown you so far. This used to be the landmark beachfront where they have many recreation activities going on, right? If you know landmark before now, this was the landmark beachfront where you have a lot of things going on here. This is what it's looking like right now. But please, I want to make one correction. It's not that they have demolished landmark. They have demolished the beachfront of landmark, which is one of the major attraction for landmark but i'm not here to speak for landmark but landmark is still in business demolition and construction is a major work going on on the road right now to pave way for the construction of the road this is a Bello beloway we have other team of workers located at other places on this same corridor which we'll show you in a future update as you can see here these are buildings still going on here i don't know if it's uh, owned by landmark or whoever that owns this particular structure going on there and this is landmark office right so it's very true that a businessman is in to make money and this place has been a good investment to the owner of landmark on our businesses on, on this route but i also see the patriotism that somebody came to invest their money in the country it's actually a good one and this investment is now kind of sinking let me use that word but at the same time it paid me more that nigerians who have not been to this particular place look just see picture just see people's opinion and you pick interest and you are now saying that and Nigerian government are calling for investors whereas they are they are killing investment made on the motherland right so how do you encourage investors to come in and invest in nigeria and everybody just notes have you ever come to this place before have you ever come to this project to see what's going on here because you need to come here yourself to see the amount of progress happening here before you conclude or you make your own contribution it's obvious that you see me you see other content creators posting things on social media you see, that, you see video you see pictures of what's happening here then you pick side you start you start dropping your like and giving your opinions Right there, the work is currently going on. The only thing I would advise Nigerians to do, in my opinion, is it's time we hold them accountable, okay? Sir, Mr. Presido, Mr. of Work, you've started this thing. He said it's going to take eight years to complete this particular project. Let's all, as in, let's all come together and hold them responsible to ensure they deliver this project to Nigerians. That's the only thing I, I, I'm expecting from Nigerians, Not, nothing else. You get? The truth is that, right here, the diverse kilometer has been completed and there's some filling and there are other work going on at other, other places which in a future update i will go and show you what's going on there so let us keep an eye on them let us check me them and see that this thing are, are consistently going on like what, what are consistently going on here not we trying to you know push the other way around because this will actually benefit nigerians on, on the long run and let us also sympathize with those who are victims of the circumstances here because it's not easy to lose an investment, no matter how, how much or how little it is. Let's let, let's let, let's human fed before tribes come as it comes in place. So investors who are looking in to tap into the opportunity, the potential opportunity this coastal highway will provide. For me, I am just an ordinary Nigerian, but I have one question to ask you. A country of over 200 million people, do you think your investment will ever go wrong? I have spent few Christmas on this planet Earth, but I understand my people, Nigerians, we buy what is sellable once you bring your investment and you go do your due diligence i don't think you ever go wrong investing in nigeria but do your own part as an investor before investing your money guys if you like what i'm doing on your channel i encourage you to please subscribe to the channel so we grow bigger like the video you can buy us coffee this is a way to fund the next projects we're working on we also have account in the video description where you can support us local back account in conclusion Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway is work in progress. With what I saw, they are committed to ensure they deliver this project to Nigerians and it's up to Nigerians to rise and ensure 
this project never died under our watch. I think I've said enough, and I would like to get your own opinion in the comment section. What do you think about the Calabar Coastal Highway, and what are your questions? What are the details you think I am missing out? What are the things you would like me to talk about when next I bring you an update regarding this mega project? Trust me, this project is massive. At this point, I recommend you should follow the one showing next on your screen. Let me ask you this last question. You don't subscribe. How you subscribe? If you have if I've not, please click that subscribe button right now. I remember your boy, OZ.